Eric Eric Johnson chasing him, and the ball is punched out. It's loose. What can you say? Best defensive football player in the country. Oh, what a hit by Jalen Ford. Picked up Jalen Ford. Jalen Ford is him. Jalen, what's up, my brother? It is always good to talk to a fellow linebacker, man. We're talking ball today, so I'm real, real excited. The season last year, 2022, you were all over the field. What was your mindset and what were you trying to accomplish? Going into the year, my goal was always wanted to be like just like the guys in the back of this room, just leave a legacy. You know, I just had to take it upon myself to put in that work, not only on the field, but off the field yeah. in all aspects and just Ultimately, just showed up on the field. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, you keep stacking them up, and then you just look back on it, and it's just like, wow. There's a couple plays from last year. I'm yeah. a football junkie, so I look at it in a different, um, different lens. KU interception. This was, this is high level stuff. Overshawn, you and him drop back in coverage, and quarterback didn't have anybody open, so he rolled out yeah. to Overshawn's side, and Overshawn triggers right. right. So a lot of players say, hey, uh, he's going to get a sack. I'm going to go get a sack too. But you're like, no, let me go cover him up. Yeah. You know, this is the ultimate team game. And once again, you have a knack for being around the ball. It was a corner blitz. He missed the blitz and the quarterback rolled out. Yep. So Demo is just his instinct to play. He just decided to go contain, pull up the quarterback. And so my instinct <laughs> told me, okay, let me go. He left this man. Let me yeah. go and place him in cover. Yeah, yeah. And the quarterback threw it, and I was just able to go make a play. So, you know, that goes back to, you know, not only just being instinctive, but trusting your teammates yeah. um, and just being a, a true linebacker. What I hear you saying is being able to function during chaos is big yeah. for linebackers. We, we're we different from d and yeah. We're different from, like, we don't, we don't put our hand in the dirt and, and lose focus, right? We got to actually set up everything and be that stable. I'd say, like, especially the, the middle linebacker spires, just yeah. we run the ball all the time. Yeah. You're the general of the defense. Like, 41 is the staple of that defense. So when I look at the Longhorns defense, especially this past year, mm -hmm. I'm looking at 41 because 41 is the Mike linebacker. That's the, That's guy. the guy. A lot of people don't understand, like, the role of a, of a linebacker truly in the defense. Like, um, we have a lot of responsibility. And so I think that Mike position is like, uh, it's kind of like the quarterback. You yeah. know, a lot of eyes on you. Yeah. That's why you're able to make so many plays, especially if you have effort, you know. Get the popcorn ready. Everybody get the popcorn ready. Let's be honest, you're a guy. <laughs> so, um, you know, everybody knows Derrick Johnson. When we watch your film, we see effort. You're always making plays. Your passion for the game. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Finding that switch kind of when it's game time, yeah. you know, to turn it on. Somehow you got to be easily motivated. Whenever you step on the field, I don't care what day it is or how you feel, you got to be motivated to kick butt. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Like, like really, really uh, take it to somebody and take a lot of pride in that, knowing that when I go back and watch film, everybody in the world is about to see this film. Turn it on that switch. And you do have that switch, by the way, to make sure that you send a message that I'm the baddest guy on the field. You gotta take steps. You, you're here for a reason. You, yeah, you can't exactly. be the same, you can't exactly. be the same last year. We, yeah. we, we loved Jalen last year. Right. We need a better Jalen. The expectation for yourself needs to be higher than everybody else because you, you're gonna hold yourself at the highest level possible. I was a five star, uh, yeah. you, you were a three star, right? I was always motivated and intrigued by guys that were two star, or three yeah. star players because I'm like, man, this guy is working his tail off what was your motivation coming in knowing that I don't have a lot of stars but I got a lot of heart you know I've never been a guy that's always wanted the spotlight or really care for it mm -hmm. for me I think it was just uh, I just got the opportunity to play the game I love everybody's not gonna be the same you might not be the fastest the most you know athletic mm -hmm. having that heart to go out there and want to be great you know? yeah I want to be like you said the best person out there I think holding myself to that standard even from high school being a three star has kind of got me to that point when you're playing here, you don't realize that you're going to have your name up. And when yeah, they it, when, are your awards, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. Like, these are yeah. literally my awards to have yeah. the, the, the best defensive player in the nation award and yeah. the best linebacker in the nation. So I won this coming back from my senior year, something right. that you are pursuing. You talk about legacy. What does this mean to you to look at this and say, yeah. hey, I, yeah. it's an opportunity, yeah. opportunity of a lifetime that you can, you can make this happen. If I'm able to get this, you know, looking back on it years from now, it'll be, it'll still be there. That's what pushes me is just wanting to be the best possible player I can be. And winning these awards kind of solidifies that. As far as legacy, just when people think about linebackers at University of Texas, they just mention me. Like in that room, like yeah. seeing my picture in there, was, yeah. that would just put me at rest. If you want to leave your legacy, there's no better place to do it than here.